In this video, we are going to see how to apply nodal analysis in the circuit which consists of more than one dependent sources and of course independent sources also. So here is the problem. The question is we have to get the node voltages V1, V2, V3. So node voltages are this. This is V1, V2, V3, and this node is a potential zero, hence a reference. Over here, we are having a two dependent sources. As for the symbol is concerned, this is an arrowhead that means it's a dependent current source and it depends upon the voltage Vx across 20 ohm. So it's a voltage control current source. And this is as per the symbol is concerned, it's a dependent voltage source and it depends upon the current Iy flowing through this 40 ohm. So it's a current control voltage source. And we are having an independent current source of a 0.4 ampere. So as far as method goes, you have to mark the node and its potential first. Second, a current direction for each and every branch given. While considering the branch current, the first thing that we have going to consider is the current source. Whether it's independent or dependent, we will maintain the current direction given in the problem. So for 4, 0.4 ampere, this will be the current direction. For 0.03 vx the current direction will be like this secondly whatever the current given by them we will maintain the current direction for that branch also same so iy is given by them remember this is very important step we have to mark current in the same direction given by them and third and most important thing if they have given a voltage in the circuit, we have to pass the current in such a way that it will develop the polarity plus minus given by them. So to maintain the polarity plus minus across 20 ohm, current has to pass like this. Remember, this is very important step. If you change the current direction, which will not maintain the current uh, direction such a way that the polarity of voltage will be same as the given by then, our answer will be wrong. So once again, this is a note for a caution. If a voltage is given, we have to pass the current such a way that we will get the polarity plus minus in the direction of current. So here, we have considered all the conditions, the restrictions to mark the current directions and we are getting a current directions like this. So we are ready to apply KCL to node one by one. So let's apply KCL at node one. To node, four branches are connected. One is the incoming with the current source 0.4 ampere. So 0.4 is the constant equal to. Let's write equation for this, which is nothing but a dependent current source with a value 0.03 Vx. For this, P1 minus 0 upon 100 and finally for this V1 minus V2 upon 20. Now we need a substitution for Vx because that is the variable that we have not marked. So substitution equation is
remember vx is a voltage across 20 ohm and 20 ohm is connected between node 1 and 2 and the positive polarity in the mark is connected to the v1 hence v1 is more positive compared to v2 so in the end what we will get vx is nothing but v1 minus v2 so wherever vx is present we will substitute it as v1 minus v2 so upon simplifying we will get 0 0.4 equals 0 0.03 into v1 minus v2 v1 by 100 so that in a decimal will be 0 0.01 v1 plus 1 by 20 is 0 0.05 so this is 0 0.05 v1 minus 0 0.05 v2 so after simplifying this what we will get over here is a equation which is nothing but 0 0.03 v1 plus 0 0.01 v1 plus 0.05 v1 nothing but 0.09 v1 plus for v2 we will have minus 0.03 v2 minus 0.05 v2 that gives us minus 0.08 v2 and constant will be there as it is 0.4 equation number one right let's go ahead and apply kcl at node 2 node 2 three branches are connected one is incoming but the equation will be v1 minus v2 upon 20 and 2 are outgoing with the equation v2 minus 0 by 40 plus v2 minus v3 upon 40 once again upon simplifying we'll get 0 0.05 v1 minus 0 0.05 v2 equal to if we simplify this v2 divided by 40 we will get this equal to 0 0.025 v2 plus 0 0.025 v2 minus 0 0.025 v3 and finally the equation that we will get is 0 0.05 v1 minus 0 0.05 v2 was there already and these two terms will come on this side and that will make the whole coefficient as minus 0 0.1 for v2 and this will be plus 0.025 v3 equal to 0 as equation number 2 we will get a second equation in this manner let's go for node 3 now what is happening at node 3 there is only voltage source present though it is a dependent source but still concept will remain same so what i can say v3 minus 0 equal to 80 i y okay no need to apply kcl to node 3 because already only voltage source is present between the third node and the reference node what we require over here a substitution for i y i y is this guy so the substitution equation for i y will be i y is nothing but current taken by this 40 ohm and the direction is such a way that it is flowing from v2 to reference so it has to be v2 minus 0 divided by 40 
so that is nothing but 0.025 v2 so wherever there is a i y we will substitute 0.025 v2 now after substitution we will get v3 equal to at multiplied by 0.025 v2 so if you solve this this will be simply 2 and the equation we will get is 2 times v2 minus v3 equal to 0 as equation number 3 so what we got over here three nodes three equations upon solving all these three equations we will get the value of v1 v2 v3 as v1 we will get as 40 volt v2 is also 40 volt and v3 we will get as 80 volt so over here what we have seen even if uh, more than one dependent sources are present but still concept will remain same the only thing is that while marking the branch current we need to be very very careful whenever dependent sources are there for the nodal analysis. Thank you.